I have the Samsung Galaxy S22 here. It has been rooted with Majisk. And in today's video, I'll be showing you how to unroot this phone using the PC program called Odin. This process is also going to work with the Samsung Galaxy S22 Plus and even the Galaxy S22 Ultra as well. I also want to make note that in order for things to be reverted back to 100% stock firmware, we're going to have to lose all of our data in the process. So be sure to back up your imp important information before you begin with this tutorial. Now to start off, we're going to need to download the firmware for our device. I've already done some videos showing you how to download these firmware files using programs like Freya and SamFirm, but we can also use websites like Sam Mobile and SamFW to get them as well. We just need to make sure that we are downloading the official Samsung firmware files from a trusted source. You're also going to need to make sure that the firmware that is downloaded matches the region of the firmware that we already have installed on our device. If you're not familiar with how this is all done, be sure to check the video description below as I'll have links to those other tutorials for you to watch so that you can get yourself caught up. And the last thing that we're going to need to download is the program called Odin. And this is what we'll use to flash the firmware files over to our smartphone right here. Once we have Odin and the firmware downloaded on our PC, we can go ahead and boot our Galaxy S22 into what is known as download mode. Now I'm going to be using the USB method right here. But if you're not familiar with how to boot into download mode, again, this is something that I've shown in a previous tutorial, and I'll be linking to that dedicated tutorial in the video description as well. So once you have booted your Galaxy S22, Galaxy S22 Plus, or Galaxy S22 Ultra, into download mode so that it looks like this. We're going to keep the device plugged in via a USB cable and we're going to go ahead and open up Odin and load the firmware files into the program. Here you can see we have the Odin program open and this is the firmware file that I originally downloaded when I extract this the contents of this zip file we're going to be given five different firmware files and four of these are going to be loaded up into Odin. So we're going to go over here into Odin. We're going to make sure that it is detecting our Samsung Galaxy S22. Now this could be highlighted in any of these other COM ports, but we just want to make sure that it is registered with Odin. And we're going to begin loading these files. So we're going to click on the BL button right here. And we're going to find the file of this firmware that begins with the letters BL. We're going to do the same thing with the CP file. We're going to click this CP button. And then we're going to load the firmware file that begins with the letters CP. Again, we're going to click the CSC button and we're going to choose the file that begins with CSC. And we need to choose this CSC button or file, not the home CSC file, because we are unrooting our Galaxy S22. We need this phone to be returned to stock firmware. So we're going to choose the CSC file which is going to wipe our data. And the last file we're going to load up in, the, in Odin is the AP file. 
we can see this is a very large firmware file. This contains the bulk of our firmware. So after we load in that AP file, it's gonna take a little bit before the file is loaded. You're likely even gonna see Odin go not responding. As your computer unpacks that file and loads it up into Odin. We're not going to click anything, we're not going to change anything, we're just going to wait until Odin catches up and loads that AP file right here. You can see it is going to take a little bit of time. We're not rushing it. We're just being patient while this massive nine gigabyte file gets loaded. So now as a recap, we have our Galaxy S22. It's booted into download mode. We have it connected to the PC with a USB cable. We have Odin open right here. It is detecting our Galaxy S22 as connected. And we have loaded the four firmware files here. With all of that done, we're gonna go ahead and click on the start button right here to begin the process. Now we can follow along right here and see the actual files that are being copied to our Galaxy S22 and then flashed or installed to our Galaxy S22. Not only do we have a progress bar right here at the top, but if you look at the smartphone, Toward the bottom of the screen, you're likely going to see a progress bar right there as well. And just like whenever we loaded the AP file into Odin, we're going to be patient here. We don't need to handle the phone. We don't need to wiggle the USB cable. We want to let the we want to let Odin do its work and install the original firmware onto our Galaxy S22, our Galaxy S22 Plus, or our Galaxy S22 Ultra. This process is going to be exactly the same for all three devices. And unless you changed anything ahead of time, in our options tab, we're gonna have the auto reboot option checked so that when Odin is done and this process has been completed, our smartphone is going to reboot on its own. And even though it may seem Odin is getting stuck on the super.img file, again, we can mark where the progress bar is with our mouse, wait a little bit, and make sure that it is continuing by filling up that progress bar. As long as our progress bar is not getting stuck, 
Odin is not getting stuck. And you can see once it finishes that massive super.img file, it moves on and finishes the flashing process. We're going to be looking for a green pass message right here after the blue reset. And as long as you see that and no error messages here, our smartphone has rebooted and everything has been completed. After our smartphone has rebooted on its own, we are then safe to unplug that USB cable. And we're gonna wait for this first boot back into Android. Since we have essentially done a big factory data reset, this first boot back into Android is going to take a little bit longer than normal since it's going to take us to the Android activation screen so that we can set everything up. So here is the Android activation screen. Mine is in a different language by default because I have imported the phone. But as we skip through all of this, going to boot us back into Android. And since everything has been reset, we're not going to have Magisk installed. We're not going to be rooted. And this completely unroots the Galaxy S22 to bring us back to the stock firmware for our device. From here, you should be able to install over there updates like normal and apps or games that didn't work because your phone was rooted should now start to work again.